Hello everybody, my name is the Jurassic Insider, and welcome back to Jurassic World game. And this is episode 5, this is our first sort of minor milestone, I guess you could say, of the series. So I'm pretty excited for this episode, because today, we're gonna finally do it. The much-promised Argentinosaurus episode, all about the Argentinosaurus. We're gonna use it in battle, we're gonna level it up, and we're gonna make it the toughest dinosaur on our team. I'm very excited for this episode. Also, thank you guys for the support on the series so far. It's been going pretty well, which I like a lot. And, uh, sorry about last episode, it was a little bit different, uh, than what I normally did, because my friend was over, and I decided, hey, it'd be funny if he was in the video, so I put him in the video, and we just laughed a lot. It was, it was a fun time, it just wasn't the most professional episode, so apologies if you didn't like that style, but I'm back, just me by myself. If you do like that style, then you can watch that episode, or you, or you could, um, recommend me, um, you could recommend, uh, me to make another one of them. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on. We now ha have access to events, like this, uh, this Hatsigop Turks event, uh, which would be really nice, because the thing about the new Jurassic World game is that it's way harder to get dinosaurs now and actually unlock them, because for battle stages, there's not a lot you can do now. They nerfed a lot of the creatures in the game, or not nerfed the creatures themselves but how you get them so getting this hatsigopteryx will be really nice and they will get harder but unfortunately we have to use uh amphibians we usually have to use the class that has a disadvantage against whatever you're facing and right now our amphibians suck so may maybe doesn't sound like a great idea right now however after i record this episode maybe episode six could be all about that so that sounds like an okay idea actually uh, we can do this battle, though, but, you know, I'd rather wait for a little bit because I don't know if we're quite prepared, but once I feel prepared, I think we can go ahead and get started with that. But anyways, of course, we're going to focus on the Argentine Saurus today. Yep, and one of my missions is actually level up 2 for just at least level 20. So, why not go ahead and do Argentine Saurus? So let's see how much more time we have here. Alright, so we got 7, uh, we got uh, 13 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up, though, because why not? It's a little expensive, but I gotta speed stuff up when making videos, because obviously I don't want to just come back seven minutes later because it takes up too much time. We gotta keep things rolling. Can I keep the ball rolling? Um, looks like I'm still going through these uh, seasonal passes really fast. Uh, the rewards are still okay, but it's nice. All right, we can level this guy up to level ten. Look at that very nice <laughs> oh i love the animation for that it looks so gracious Ooh, right can we look around the cage oh yeah we can yeah this looks so nice i never get to pay attention to the de amount of the great amount of detail you can see in the cages and stuff they just look so nice it's beautiful all right uh well i guess we can go and involve these two for 40 speed up can we do it on the first try oh dang we were so close uh makes me angry okay there we go arkidoki all right we got a level 11 argentinosaurus looks like we got another mission as well and then we can level him up oops another one um level him up and let's see what the evolution fact is actually the argentinosaurus is one of the largest oh wait i already read that one sorry did you know that when the Argentinosaurus was discovered, its life fossil was mistaken for a giant piece of petrified wood? Oh yeah, I remember reading about that once. Yeah, that's pretty funny, because it was just so big. Oh, look at that. Oh, it is beautiful. That's the thing about Jurassic World, the game, or just, I guess, dinosaurs in general, but more about the game. Uh, it's like... Uh, I think a lot of people who go through playthroughs really just more or less uh, kind of just go through the game because they go through just play the game. They don't really look and stop to marvel at these creatures, which is the reason why I think gaming beavers, um, Minecraft or not Minecraft, Jurassic World game series is so successful, is because even though he went from pretty low source material, like not to knock anything down against him, but his editing and his thumbnails are just about like average you know they aren't anything well his thumbnails are good but he, he doesn't really edit his videos all that much so it's really all about the fact that he takes this you know not very well known source material this not very known game 
but still means this to turn out good. A lot of that has to do with quantity, of course, because he has like 500 something episodes, or maybe even 600 at this point. Um, so it's pretty incredible, but if you just take a look and start marveling at these creatures, the designs of the creatures that the games make, the models, they, they're really incredible. And uh, I think you should definitely take a look and uh, appreciate what they've done for us, Ludia. As much as they frustrate us sometimes, Ludia, they're, I mean, they're great animators. What can I say? Anyways, enough of that um, sappy stuff. <laughs> Let's see what he can do in battle, though. I'm excited. Okay, we got the Gwenlong, Tropicanathus, and Triceratops, and we can unlock the Gwenlong. Ooh, it looks like our Gigasaurus is our strongest dinosaur. It has way more health than the Majungasaurus, closer to Triceratops, but it also has... Yeah, it's only a little bit better than Triceratops. It only has one extra health and... Or sorry, three extra health and one extra attack, but still, it's pretty good. And it doesn't have nearly as much attack as Majungasaurus, but it's not too shabby either. So obviously, we probably want to put in a amphibian, but we don't really have a good amphibian yet, so I think that's probably what we're going to focus on. And then if we do this, we can also uh, finish our mission if we make a level 20 Limnoscheles. A reptile like amphibian, Limnoscheles is Greek for marsh-footed. Alrighty. And then we can feed him... Ah, uh, there we go. Nice. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we should probably finish it up. Uh, these amphibian cages look so cool, like, genuinely. They're a little bit small. I don't know why they make the carnivores and the uh, amphibians so small. I think they should... I think they should make the cages different, like, sizes. It helps with consistency a little bit. Um, but I wish for, like, in herbivores, like, they made the... Theropod, or not the theropod, sorry, the sauropod cage is a little bit bigger, and things like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we should go ahead and probably evolve the second one here, um, and then we can fuse them together. Hopefully first try, yep, first try, nice. Luminoscule is not one of the nicest looking ones, it's kind of a little wrinkly. Alright, uh, reptile-like amphibian, Limnoscheles is Greek for marsh- oh, sorry, I keep doing that. Due to their stubby legs, which limit mobility, the Limnoscheles tend to hunt a slow-moving prey. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Alright, let's see him up to level 20, perfect, we finished that mission too. There we go, nice, we're on our way to level 10 pretty soon. Log entry number 8. Preparations for the new experiment underway. Claire is confident we'll receive better funding if a positive article is published. Alright, episode 4, on the horizon. So it looks like Dr. Wu is going to be providing us with most of the missions now. Place a newly hashed creature, that won't be too bad. Connect two buildings with roads, again, not bad at all. Um, we can focus on those. Hold on, let me go ahead and get... Um, do we not want to hatch the Nunda Suchis? We can go ahead and do that, it might take a while. Yeah, it's like three hours, uh, but I don't think it's a big deal. But now we can go ahead and fight, uh, not that battle, this battle, right. All right, so we can put in a Limnoscheles, obviously, and then we can put in our star Argentinosaurus. Ooh, even better, actually. Let's do put in a meat shield as Limnoscheles, and then we can put in uh, our actual Limnoscheles, and then Argentinosaurus can hopefully take out the rest. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if I'm playing a little bit too confidently, but I really wanted to see Argentinosaurus's power this episode, because I promised it in either the third or the fourth episode. I think it was the third. Um, I really want to see it, because I think it is like she's like the coolest, uh, uh, the coolest herbivore of the commons and rares, honestly. She's like one of the best starter ones. I'm sorry I refer to herbivores as, all, and as she's all the time and everything else as he's. That's I'm not like sex, sexist or anything. I'm not trying to say like, you know, oh no, only uh, uh, boys are all the tough carnivores. It's just kind of habit. Um, but I, I swear, I don't, I don't truly believe that because as we all know, a bunch of the carnivores in Jurassic, uh, the actual films are or female. I mean, Rex is a female. Um, uh, yeah, who else? Um, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm, I'm losing my mind because I'm talking. It's really hard to talk and do battles because this really provides high concentration. So I have, so if I ever like, just like, just if I, I'm not going to talk a lot, basically. Um, all right. looks like we're going to have to switch. I and mean, I think he had one block. 
Yeah, so I'm not going to talk a lot um, during battles, so don't get offended. And yeet. You're out. Ah. All right, it might have been a bad idea to go for four reserves because I think Argentina Soros might go out here. I hope he doesn't go for all four. Okay, thank God. Thank God. All right, we can go for this. That seems not too shabby. So he probably has six right now. Hopefully he will go for all six because I don't think all six can kill me for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think two can kill me. Yeah, so barely alive. And then I can switch out for Limnoskeles. Um... And he can deal with him, because he has no blocks. I think two won't... Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, two, and then we can do a block, because why not? And he's done. Nice. All right, and all we got to do is the Triceratops. Um, and I actually hope the Triceratops kills me here, because... Well, he can't, technically. I don't think so. Um, oh, yeah, I'm barely left with it, because I kind of want to see what Argentinosaurus' full eight looks like. So instead, I'm going to just go for four... And then I'm just going to, oh, this is like the first time ever I want to like actually just not do any damage at all. Wait, hold on. I'll just see how much is enough and then I'll go for two blocks. Why not? All right. All right. And then hopefully he goes for four here and gets rid of me. Dang it. All right. We'll be able to see it's full seven at least. All right, let's see. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, just it's five. Dang it! Still, oh, dude, though that was that was cool. That was cool. Oh yes, he got it. Hmm, that was nice. All right, <laughs> we got DNA, <laughs> and we got a Gwen Long. Exciting, exciting times. Exciting times. Uh, we can place two buildings with Ro- Ooh, what's this? Unlock. Uh, unlocked at 1,200,000 completed battles during live arenas. That's a lot, don't you think? I don't think there's that many players in the game. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, so we gotta place a couple buildings with some rows, so we can actually just do something simple. Ooh, we got a speedy go-kart, but it's, it's expensive. So instead, we'll just be a generic- Dude, and just go for, go for a, uh, go for an ECU security tower, and I'll probably just move stuff around in a couple of minutes, cause why not? And then we can just connect these two together. Perfect. All right, so we finished that one. Park construction is going as planned, and our layout is flawless. We're sure to get a good review from that journalist. Having closure with a bonus of four percent or higher. Okay. Uh, what do you have? 1%, uh, 1%. Okay, so these all have 1%. Ooh, this one has 2%, but I'd rather have Triceratops with a really high percentage because um, uh, Triceratops is one of the best coin givers at the beginning of the game, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell this because I don't see the point. Um, or maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. Uh, but then we can move the Jungle Bean Coffee Shop somewhere else. Uh, we'll just put it there for right now. Again, this is kind of... Uh, just a wacky layout. It's not going to be permanent or anything. We could put an amber pedestal here. That'd be pretty cool. And then we can just finish it off with a nice little fountain. And voila. I think I'll write a paragraph on how creatures respond positively to a well-kept enclosure. I agree. Um, Alright, Tropical Planter and Battle Stage 9, which is for the actual Tropicanathus unlock. So that will be fun. Uh, Tropicanesis is a nice one to have. Alright, a new way to win prizes. Purchase tickets for a chance to win the top prize or three other awesome prizes. Every ticket is a winner. Right, so I'm just going to be doing this in my spare time, like not on camera because it's just a bunch of ad watching. But I'll occasionally be doing this. Buy prize, top, uh, prize drop tickets to fill your progress bar and unlock awesome prizes. Open the game daily to add extra progress and enjoy progressively better prizes each time your bar fills. Right. So we'll, we'll uh, I'll, I'll focus on that off camera. That's not something you guys have to think about. Oh, uh, right, the tree. Oh, why did we click on that? Right, uh, there we go. Bring the form, fa bring the fountains over here. They'll look perfect amongst, amongst all the greenery. We've already done that, which is great. And we get a couple bucks, nice. All right, so our only mission right now is to place a newly hatched creature. 
and that might take a while. So I think this is actually going to be close to where we end. You know what? Let's go ahead and end off with a little bit of a battle here. We got this one battle stage. So let's go ahead and complete this. Uh, and let's try that. So I think a Triceratops can do it. Ooh, an Illuminous Skill is perfect. All right. Um, yeah, we could do that. Don't know if that's too OP, but I think it'll be all right. Okay. So we'll go for a reserve here. He'll probably switch, which might be a little bit troubling, but... We can always switch to... Ooh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but... I mean, that's probably the best he could have done, honestly. Alright, one... Two does it. And then we can go for one extra reserve, because we're probably gonna die afterwards. And he's out. And then now the Gwen Long's in. Dang, I wish I could do that other battle. Hmm. Because I would really like to get a Hatsikopteryx early on. I mean, not that it's a crazy good dinosaur, but that it's just nice to unlock it. Because I don't know what my next opportunity will be or how hard it will be. It's probably get better to get it these early days. I think I'll just have to level up the Limuscalus. That sounds like a great topic for next episode. But there we go, the Limuscalus. Because this, yeah, last episode was Argentinosaurus's, er, this episode, sorry. This episode was Argentinosaurus's big, uh, big, uh, show uh, show off or some, something something yeah it, it's it was it was his big episode or her or whatever you want to call it it's a big episode and i think next episode should be um about amphibian slash limuscalis mainly limuscalis because i don't think we are in the uh dip, is, what is it called the diplocalis until like a couple of battle i think it's battle stage 11 but i would, might be wrong though so uh, looks like that'll be something we'll look forward to next episode if you're interested in that. And hopefully we can get a Hats Cup Terex. Who knows? Alright. Alright, okay. So we're just gonna go for here, and then... We can go for two. Uh, yeah, okay, that was completely useless. Alright. Uh, hopefully he goes for everything he has here. Um, oh, no? Okay. So I think we're gonna go for four here, and then we go for four attacks. All right, we just took off a little bit of his health, not a lot though. Definitely not a lot, but I'm hoping he goes for four finally. Yeah, there we go, perfect. All right, all right, now it's the other Limnoskeles, and he's pretty much just gonna mop the floor with them. So one, two, we'll take four, and then we'll take two, and and then the Majungasaurus be here. And yep, I don't think it can really do anything at this point. We have way more health. Not way more health, but a good bit more health. Substantial amount. And then just a lot of attacks. So, ooh, we get to see Lunasuke's full aid. Unless he blocked. I don't think he blocked. Yep. Oh. Oh, look at that crocodile. Not, cro oh, sorry. I need to correct myself. 930 damage, that's pretty good for a level 20. I think Majungasaurus did like 1,200 last time, though. That's impressive. All right, ooh, lots of food. I forgot this was a food pack. Um, not, no, it's really not a lot of food when you really think about it, but it's okay. It's a decent amount. Uh, but I think that's actually where we're gonna get end off this episode of Jurassic World: The Game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit more relaxed and laid back episode compared to last. Um, maybe a little even a little bit boring. And if that's so, make sure to let me know. Um. And I'll just see how well this video does. Um, and if it doesn't do that well, then I'll it will just be an indication that uh, this was just a boring episode. Or it just might be because the series, the past few episodes are, have been kind of in the below 10 range. Which I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's like the average amount. It's like less than 10 views. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll get this episode out as soon as possible. Uh, but it will be today, obviously, or the day that you're seeing this, or the day that it was published. At, at, it's Monday. Uh, it's Monday. All right. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. This is Jurassic Insider signing out.